For this function, we're going to demonstrate how to graph a logarithmic function on my math lab that has a reflection and a vertical movement. So our original graph is, or a graph that we want to graph is f of x equals 4 minus natural log of x. Natural log of x is a logarithm with a base of e. So if I rearrange this equation so that the logarithm is written first, notice that the negative is attached to that, and so it would be negative ln x plus 4. And so the negative in front of the logarithm creates a reflection over the x-axis, and the plus 4 is a vertical upwards 4 movement. So I want to get those transformations written here now. So the graph of f of x equals 4 minus natural log of x is a transformation of the graph f of x equals natural log of x by a reflection across the x-axis, and then a translation up 4 units. So next we want to graph the function. So select the logarithm tool, which is the vertical orientation. Click anywhere to plot the original graph. The graph defaults to the logarithm with a base with a um, vertical asymptote at x equals 0 and the intercept is 1 to the right. Every logarithm starts there. So I want to put in the movements up 4 and I want to put in the reflection. Now to graph reflections you have to actually reflect it first. Okay, so I want to click to reflect it over the x-axis and then I want to take this reflected graph and I want to do the up 4 movement. So go to the vertical shift, click the box, until and move to the right until you see positive 4. Now notice that if I didn't do this in that order, so if I clear and start over, it's going to give you a very different graph. So if you shifted um, up 4 first, and then if you clicked to reflect it over the x-axis, it's in a very different position. So it's very important to always make sure with reflections on logarithms that you graph the reflected graph first and then shift that one in the direction you want to go. Okay, so one more time, I click to start, reflect it first, then do your horizontal or vertical shifts. So click to shift it um, vertically up four. Go down to the base box. It defaults to a base of E, which is the correct base for LN, and then X out of the tools and hit save and then check the answer. Next it asks for the domain. So the domain is left and right along the x-axis. This graph does not go left forever. It um, approaches x equals 0. So I'm going to select the parentheses interval and in the blue first blue box put 0, tab, and then in the next blue box, infinity. So it starts at 0, goes right forever. Next, the equation of the vertical asymptote is x equals 0.